Jeb Bush is looking toward the South Carolina primary this morning, telling supporters his campaign is not dead. He finished fourth in New Hampshire. Bush won 11 percent of the vote. His campaign and super PAC spent more than $36 million in New Hampshire, or about $1,200 per vote. That is 30 times more than Donald Trump. The former Florida governor traveled to South Carolina overnight, and he is with us from Hilton Head. Governor Bush, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Donald Trump gets a lot of free press. I wish I did. <laughs> well, let me ask you, though, did, did what you spent in New Hampshire pay off? First of all, let's be clear that uh, I'm not coordinating with the uh, super PAC that spent most of that money. Uh, it paid off in the sense that a week before there was a coordination. People in New Hampshire, I think, took a, took a, you know, a pause and said that at least not related to Donald Trump, but for the other people that uh, the 60 percent that voted, that they wanted someone who had a proven leadership record. And I do. And I commend John Kasich uh, for the campaign that he ran. We ran a, a good campaign as well and look forward to taking it now to South Carolina. Now, Governor, what is your pathway to winning the nomination now? Well, I think the field will winnow down eventually. I'm a patient person. I wish it all happened overnight. That's kind of uh, the, the obsession of the pundits want that to happen, but it'll happen. And when it does, uh, I'm the one candidate that has taken on Donald Trump that does not believe he's a conservative and the head of the conservative party, the nominee should be a conservative. And so uh, I take my record that is one that of accomplishment of disruption, of changing the culture in my state capital uh, to the people of here of South Carolina and then on to Nevada. Some will argue that Donald, Brum Donald Trump will simply get stronger while the winnowing takes place and maybe too late. Well, that would be a disaster for the Republican Party and it uh, would mean, uh, I think, landslide defeats for a lot of really good people that are serving right now. My case is one that, look, we can, we can be angry about the status quo or we can fix it. And uh, I have a proven record of how that works. And that's what I, this morning uh, at Hilton Head, apparently there's going to be 700 people there. So uh, we'll get a sense of how people like that, because I think they do. Have you changed your strategy on dealing with Donald Trump? Because for a long time, you, you two weren't engaged in the uh, name calling. And now you're both engaged with each other. You call him a loser. He calls you a stiff. Have you decided <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him? And now you're going to come out swinging? No, look, he's been insulting me all the way through. He's been, that's one consistency he's had. He hasn't been so consistent on, on health care or on taxes, on spending, on the Second Amendment or anything else. But he's been pretty consistent going after me. And um, he's a tough guy, and he really insults really a whole lot when he's you know, sitting out the t sending out the tweets. But one-on-one, uh, -on -one, it doesn't appear that way. Okay. Do you regret having your mom campaign for you in New Hampshire? You took a little bit of teasing for that. <laughs> well, yeah, the Donald really went after a 90-year-old woman who's beloved. That was, that was a real strong s signal, right? So I love my mother. I thought she was fantastic on the, on the trail. Um, people seem to like her a lot. They do. They do indeed. Thank you, Governor Bush. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Governor.